colors that are more visible. There we go, that's more. Hey, we're on the water today with Kevin Van Dam. And Kevin, we're fishing a Hillland Reservoir today, cranking in the spring, uh, or, or between pre-spawn and post-spawn fish. How are we sizing up this flat? Well, the, the real key on these Highland Reservoirs is you look for bank transitions, you know I mean? Points are always good, but this time of year, I want to fish stuff that's a little bit flatter, but I'm really looking at changes in the rock on the bank, you know, where there's some pea gravel and chunk rock mixed together, or especially where it goes from one type to another, you know, where the rock size changes or the gravel gets a little bit rocky. And if you can, you know, have that same transition on a, on a secondary point, that's a perfect spawning area for these fish. So, you know, it's, it's critical just to practice and fish a bunch of different areas. But when you get a bite, just look around you and see, because usually there's something irregular about that, that particular little area. And, um, you know, that's what the fish relate to on these kind of lakes. It's, 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 you know, a lot of times you can see it up on the shore, what's going to be out underneath the water. That's the great thing about a Highland Reservoir. Where have you been finding the fish locating here? Because we don't, in a uh, lake like this, those fish can spawn shallow, they can spawn deeper. Um, the, the fish here typically spawn, you know, anywhere from right up near the bank all the way out to 20 foot of water. You know, the water's got some color in it right now, so I think that's got them a little shallower. So the, the main zone for me has been, seems like six to 12 foot is where the fish are set up because not only is there spawning fish, but there's post-spawn fish and fish that are just pulling up. I mean, there's all three stages. So they're all kind of in that same zone right now. And, uh, you know, that's that's kind of been the key is just to, to cover that and find out, you know, when you get one bite to look real close to that area on the bank and, and uh, look for more just like it. You know, typically you can come into an area like this and look around and see, well, there's one secondary point here that looks pretty good. You catch a fish off it, there's probably another one within eyesight of you across the cove or in the next pocket, things like that. So that's basically what, you know, what you try to do and put together a pattern. On lakes like this, you know, once you develop a pattern for that day, you know, the wind's got to be blowing into it and it's a secondary point and it's got to have chunk rock and gravel. Well, then you can just run around and run it all over the whole lake. And that, that's why I love fishing these kind of lakes. Now, Kevin, this is the type of transition that you say you're looking for here. We see some, we see chunk rock there. We see a gravel mix yep. starting to come in. You're, you're, you're scouting that bank all the time. Always looking, you know, in these highland reservoirs, you're looking for the rock on the bank. And, you know, looks right there, there's some chunk rock, and then right there it goes to gravel. That's the perfect spot during the spawn. I mean, those gravel is the key uh, during the spawn. So when you find where that gravel mixes with other types of rock, that's the kind of things that you want. I mean, a pure gravel bank, they're going to spawn some on that too, but it's where that gravel mixes with chunk rock. Is that that's a real real key during this if you can find that mix of gravel and chunk rock on a little secondary point um, that makes it even that much better and I can look right over here. now another interesting and nice thing about uh, Highland Reservoir like this is multiple bass species what uh, are you targeting anything any species uh, particularly when you're working up here you know at, at this lake largemouth are the biggest they grow the biggest so that's the kind of what you you look for and then anything else is a bonus you know but if you get on say you start running you know gravel flats and you start catching smallmouth well then you know heck I'm gonna keep you know keep running that pattern because uh, you know a five pound smallmouth weighs the same as a five pound largemouth so you know when you when you have that diversity with spots smallmouth and largemouth it just makes it easier because you know sometimes they're mixed together but other times, you know, they're going to be just one particular species. And if you just keep running different water, you're going to, you're going to catch something. You know, that's the great thing about lakes like this is there's just a lot of bass here. And, uh, you know, they all spawn at a little bit different times and things, so they'll be in different stages. So one of them is always going to be biting one species. Colors that are more visible. There we go. That's where.